a really nice tournament. Both 16 new and junior, they've pulled off some incredible upsets. That's right, they're in eighth place right now in the 16 new team race, seventh in the junior race. They normally have one or two guys that really do well at Fargo, but now putting a handful of guys on each team yeah. high up on the podium. Absolutely, Arizona currently in eighth place as a team. Strong work, nice shot there from Mendoza. Trying to come out the back, head car wheel for Castillo though, good creative defense. And they're gonna rule that grounded, no points. Nice work from Castillo to keep himself grounded. Mendoza backing on another attack. See if he tries to go straight back. Thought about it, but now trying to finish a little more traditionally. Castillo doing a good job though, controlling that ankle for now. Minute 13 left in the period. Level change there for Mendoza. He's been all over Castillo's legs. Inside control for Mendoza and that inside control will get Castillo called for passive. He will be on the clock. He has 30 seconds to score or a point. We'll go on the board for Mendoza. Mendoza with the flowing main, of course, and now needs a score in just the next 15 seconds. Otherwise, he's gonna give up a point. And that's, oh, close to scoring. He's got nine seconds to do it. Outside step, but Mendoza's gonna score. Four offered, four confirmed. I thought they were just gonna go two, but they do go four points for Seth Mendoza. Yeah, Mendoza did a nice job getting that exposure and now has a 4-0 lead in this first period. Looking for a lace on the edge. Out of bounds though. Now unfortunately for Mendoza, that was just a second or two before the passive clock was up. So only four points, not the one plus the four. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd take the four in that situation. Uh, well, I would take four over one as well. <laughs> Short time left here in the period. Mendoza gonna take that 4-0 lead into the break. Guys will get some instruction from their corners. We'll be back to action. Mendoza and Castillo both rising into the high school ranks after this year, or after the summer. And You see Mendoza there with the Crown Point high school headgear on. You know who else is from Crown Point? Of course. A one Jesse Mendez, maybe you've heard of him. I have heard of him. It's pretty decent. Pretty good, number one pound for pound high school wrestler in the country. That's right, we'll be wrestling in the Junior World Championships here in about a month. Hard tie from Mendoza. Mendoza coming forward on the edge. I should edge. say I believe that's a crown point headgear. It's the same CP logo and a bulldog on the side. Yeah, <laughs> I believe it is. He's gonna be at Mount Carmel High School, so Unless they're using donated gear, I think that's probably right. Underhook Mendoza. Really moving Castillo around. He's gonna get one on the step out. Yep, you see the referee pointing there. Mendoza gets the opportunity for the takedown and he will take advantage and get it. You saw the referee pointing there. That means that only, and now we get a brick coming out from the Arizona corner. This this is not a bad brick. I, I think, depending on what camera angle they're gonna be looking at, it's quite possible that Castillo still had that, that leg hooked as they went out of bounds. But yeah, finish your explanation of that rule. Yes, so as soon as the official points to the out of bounds like that, only the wrestler who did not step out can score. They give him the opportunity, but once you step out, you cannot score a takedown, or any points for that matter. I have mixed feelings about the rule. It, it You know, you want to re reward offense, you want the offensive wrestler to continue attacking, but the problem if you're the defensive wrestler is you have you have no way to score, and that's the beauty of wrestling is is either guy can score in any sequence. That rule basically rule you know it decides that now the defensive wrestler can no longer score. All you can do is hold Different. on, and we're not used to 
wrestling for just you know to, the opportunity to defend. You're used to scoring points, so don't love the rule, but these guys know the rule, which is why Castillo tried to hook that ankle, and I think he did. We'll see what they decide after the review. Illinois is traditionally one of the top freestyle states right now, sitting in ninth, ninth place. Yeah, one in the finals, and, and it's Mendoza. And we, we, we excuse me, I'm, uh, no, that's right. Yeah, one in the finals. Weird year for Illinois. They had their state tournament in June, I believe, their folk style uh, state sanctioned tournament. And that threw kind of everything off for Illinois. They're a team that normally brings as many of their best guys as they can. Um, they have a system down, and it works. <laughs> They've, for the most part, dominated Fargo the past decade, and the state tournament threw that off this year. It sure did. Along with other COVID restrictions, too, probably. Strange year for sure. Mentioned Illinois in ninth. Arizona sitting in seventh place. They have also four All-Americans, like Illinois, but three in the finals. We'll see Adrian Meza at 120 pounds. And in addition to Christian Castillo here, we will also see Kyler Larkin. And with those, the new scoring system, it's weighted a little bit heavier to the champ, um, the higher placings than previously. Like I said, not much, it's pretty similar, but 25, two versus one and eight that's eight times versus 12 and a half times as many so they did confirm the call putting another point on the board for mendoza he now leads seven zero looked for a step out there couldn't get it now heavy snaps from castillo mendoza trying to get to a leg but can't quite reach it front head position now for castillo mendoza back to his feet and dives under for the Fireman's once again can't get to it. Back to the front headlock, but the referee stands him up, puts him back in the center. 40 seconds to go. Nice shot from Mendoza. He's in deep. Castillo looking for a hip tip, kind of threatening there, and it was enough to shake Mendoza off, at least for a little bit. Once again, keeping Mendoza at bay with that hip tip, and the two go out of bounds from the grounded position, no points. Another shot there from Castillo. Mendoza now working from front head. Castillo brings it up to a two on one. Now the same position. Mendoza underneath, holding on to an elbow. Not scoring, but burning a lot of clock. And there is the final second off the board. Seth Mendoza, your champion at 100 pounds with a 7-0 decision over Christian Castillo. Seth Mendoza, Illinois' only finalist, and he's a national champ. Does Illinois proud on the big stage, and he's going to get his stop sign and celebrate with his coaches. He's, he, he's been pretty cool about this whole thing. He's not, not, too, not too affected. Just nothing, just another day at the office. Another day at the office.